I hear a lot of uh, foreign accents, so that's how the year in Cape Town. Doing a presentation on the overlooked cyber threat in your home. Easily intercepted by uh, threat actors and used in malicious ways. And this is especially because IOTs tend to not have any robust security measures in place good morning it's currently 8 a.m on a monday morning about to go into the office um but before i leave just gonna have a quick breakfast and then um i'll probably take you guys with me so let's go cheers breakfast uh five hard boiled eggs <laughs> this was a aesthetic breakfast bowl but like i mixed it all up i mean just a banana there so yeah Cyber security breakfast. I'm, I'm here. Thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just a message. It's very weird to me when people message each other, but they're like right here. Yeah. Two p.m. evening. Right now, Cape Town traffic is something else. Honestly. So yeah, see you guys later. Just got back home. For some reason, my last meeting got canceled, but I don't know, it's like an hour back to me. So yeah, I'll just go for a walk and then, mm, I don't know, should I go for a run? Or go to the gym? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, see you guys. Wednesday. I'm just gonna work from home today. I'm not gonna go anywhere. Might touch the running club later, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, it's heating up in summer, so um, it's not good to stay inside in the weather is looking like this. So yeah, just a chill day today, working from home, and then I'll take you guys along with me for the run. Cheers. Decided to just kick off the morning with a quick try me room. Just finished up my lunch, had a nice little rice and chicken, whatever veggies was in there. But I actually had a thought that came up right now is what type of content you guys want more of, right? Um, because I've been doing a whole lot of different styles of content. So there's been, you know, the, um, the educational videos, maybe some technical videos and obviously the lifestyle content. Um, the educational and technical videos aren't doing as well as the lifestyle content. So I see you guys like a lot of the lifestyle content, but you know, I just want to hear from you guys what you guys want more of, right? Do you want, you know, more lifestyle vlogs, day in the life, week in the life, things like that? Do you want me to, do you want me to do uh, more educational stuff? So how to pass certain exams, how to take into cyber, maybe added some interviews there. 
it. You guys want me to do more technical um, stuff. So maybe do like a cyber project or try to break down or things of that nature, right? So just comment down below, right? So it's either lifestyle, educational or technical and just comment with your preferred option down below. How to head out for a walk now. And yeah, walking, I don't know about other industries, but especially in tech, you know, when you work from home, quite often like you can sort of get into a, a zone where you're not like, you know, being active, you know, cause you know, we're working on the computers for hours <laughs> each day. And then, you know, you're seated, your hips are tight, you know, you're not moving around, not burning any calories. So I've, uh, you know, taken, up, taken it upon myself to add more steps into my day. So usually I'll try to hit like, if I can, I'll try to hit 5,000 steps a day. If I don't go to the gym, like today I didn't go to the gym. So I'll just try and go for a walk or two, uh, see where I land up. And especially when the weather's looking like this, right? I mean, you know, it's about to be summer, right? It's not raining, nice and warm, a bit windy, but yeah. As a warm, so I just go out and take walks or multiple walks per day. Um, also, it also brings up my energy, right? So that I can continue um, to work more effectively, effectively throughout the day. Um, yeah, because usually, like after I eat, I tend to feel, you know, drowsy, sleepy. So just to like take that away, I just go for a quick walk. So usually, it works out in that manner. Yeah, man. Um, take care of your health if you can, as much as you can. Um, this is going to be quite a long career, so you might as well start building up those good habits right now. Boom, day is done. It's 5 p.m. Just going to quickly change, stretch, then go to the run club. See you guys soon. And I'll see you guys at the end. Hope you guys are enjoying the views. I just finished the 5k, nice chilled one, Camps Bay. You can start to hear a lot of uh, foreign accents, so that time of the year in Cape Town. But otherwise, I got myself a popsicle, so I'll be enjoying that. Today, a bit of a track room, and yeah, yo, just about to go into a quick one on one meeting. Just helping again, helping one of the Hacking Up members with their CV or interview preps, something along those lines. So, yeah, join me as I do that. Non do what you gonna do. I <laughs> Bitch, I see what you did there. I know. <laughs> Just having a CV review. CV review. Nothing much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hi to the people. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm Nandu Miso. All right, cut. What are you doing by my car? What are you doing by my car? Get away, get away. Get away, get away. Yeah, 
yeah currently just finished up my last meeting um on this friday evening and i actually wanted to address um one of the questions i get asked most frequently is do you do do you need a degree to get into cyber security right so i'm gonna give you the short answer and the long answer but you guys gotta stay tuned all right <music> Two matches, two wins. Yeah, obviously, you know, had to pull through for the cybersecurity industry. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday morning out here. Um, yesterday I had a great fun time playing paddle with some of the mates, but yeah, today is not going to be too much of a crazy day. Um, just going to a run club, might hit the gym after, and then might do some fun activities later. So I'll take you guys along with me with that. But today I actually want to address a topic that has been highly, highly requested for myself, and it is. Do you need a degree to get into cyber security? I'll answer that question later. club and i'm so so tired right now but i want to address this question that i get asked quite often right do you need a cyber security degree or do you need an it degree to break into cyber security and the short answer is no you do not need a degree to get into cyber security right but the long answer is that you know you don't need you don't necessarily need a degree but you do need to work on your IT fundamentals, right? So whether it's, you know, networking or cloud or computer hardware and software basics, right? You need to understand the general IT fundamental concepts, right? There are many other ways to go about gathering that knowledge, right? So there's obviously the certifications, there's free courses, you can do, you know, internships, learnerships, graduate programs, right? You don't necessarily need a um, degree per se, right? So um, you can definitely, definitely get into the cyber industry without a degree. Now, will a degree help you? Of course, it will help you, right? I mean, it shows to, it demonstrates to employers that, you know, you put in the time and effort to learn the theory surrounding um, the whole industry or IT in general, right? And, you know, it, it is still, still a very, um, you know, powerful credential to have, especially if you want to elevate into more senior roles such as you know maybe management or ex executive roles right but i want to remove the notion that you need a degree to get into cyber security i myself don't have a degree so i'm i'm just giving you a bit of context into my background i know a lot of lot of great great cyber security professionals who do not have a degree um anyone that tells that you need a degree is wrong <laughs> straight up you do not need one but it definitely does help. I'm not going to be the guy to like bash people who have degrees or say you don't need a degree or one, two, and three or drop out of school or quit uni or whatever, right? You don't do that. I mean, if you on your way to finishing, you know, computer science, any IT degree, then go ahead and finish it, right? But you do not need one. What you do need um, is focusing on the core skills that are needed for cybersecurity, right? So hands-on skills, projects, Certifications, certifications. I think certifications have become even more powerful than degrees, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, why not just go for all of them? If you have the opportunity to get a degree, especially within IT or you know computer science, then go for it. Then while you're doing your degree, right, um, do some certification on the side. 
if I do while you're doing your certifications, um, you know, do hands-on projects or do hands-on labs, right? So um, don't rely on the degree alone, right? Do everything, but um, do everything you can so it can give you as much as an advantage um, within the cybersecurity job market, right? So yeah, and also perform very well, you know, in your studies, whatever, right? You know, get distinctions or you know, be the best in your class, whatever, right? Um, yeah, so that's my take on it. So the short answer is no, but the long answer is still no, but definitely, definitely can help you. So I hope that clears up um, that question. Thanks.